everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event of the evening. Opening rounds here scheduled for 12. During your training career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. Circle, circle. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that man. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. remaining in this round. The kid's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Mayweather's now showing us something that could have a great impact on this fight, Teddy, and that's his ability to counter. Yeah, he's mixing it up a little bit. We know he can lead, we know he can get off first, but now this dimension serving him well. Miss the target with that hook. Mayweather's combination yeah. punching is working well here. He's able to land a good, solid left hand. Mayweather's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Halfway through this round. Scores with the combo to the head. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. <laughs> the kid's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Now hugging on the inside. Count down the final moments of this round. He just missed that shot up top. Mayweather's resting up after a round in where he was so very accurate. And Teddy, if you want to have one single quality out there as an offensive fighter, accuracy is among the ones you want to have. Yeah, to be accurate, that means you have to be calm. And you have to be smart. That you know that you put the punches in certain specific places for a reason and boxing is not just about the strongest guys it's supposed to be and it usually is about the smartest guys off to the side a little swing and a miss going upstairs 
jab and a straight by Money. Punch and move. Punch and move. Hey, get out of there. You got to see that coming, champ. Let's go. You got to see that. The kid's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Right back to it to the head. He did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Billy Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Mayweather's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Money's hand speed is right now the difference. Teddy, you got faster hands, you're halfway home. Yeah, that's a great, great asset to have, is to be able to do that. But there is a way to negate it, to counter it, and that's to time the punches. Timing can beat speed. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Return to sender, he gives him back one of his own. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. And that's the end of round three. Start of round number four. Mayweather's accuracy has really carried this fight so far. He's up three rounds to zip on your scorecard. Yeah, and again, it's because of what you just touched on. He's been a sharpshooter all night long. The kid's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. And he's holding. Hook off the jam! Hook off the jam! Good exchange! He fires back. And now he's targeting upstairs. Really committing to that jab. He lands another one. Carries the punch, puts one in there. Keep working that jab, baby. Good job. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Really frustrating his opponent now. Money's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave it open. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the kid. Mayweather's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. There you go. The kid's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing many. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. He has his target, he lands the straight right. Mayweather's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. seconds to go here in this round. Comes right back at him with a left hand. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the kid. Up, 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 up. 
Money's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Focus! Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. The kid's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing him. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the pads of the punch. And round six comes to an end. Mayweather's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do. And he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Money's big by an uppercut. Gets hit by a counter punch there. Mayweather's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Super two punch combo by Money. Halfway through round six. Commits to the straight right. Keep moving! Keep moving! Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? The kid's looking for a way to get this fight back on course. Of course, that can get him a victory. This isn't it. Just trying to counter punch these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. Two stepping jabs by Money. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Get out of the way from the bus and move your head! As we're between rounds now, Teddy, it gives us pause and time to reflect on what he's accomplished. Mayweather's precision punching has carried this fight. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's not because he ate a lot of carrots when he was a kid. He has real good eyesight. It's because he's calm, he has good technique, and that is why he's right on the mark. Took a go of it to the body that came up empty. It's all right. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the kid. Double your jab. Ah, uh, there's the double jab, and you can see he can do it up top as well as down low. ability to properly throw and land his combination has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up to third and fourth. At the halfway point of round seven. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by the kid. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. A nice crisp hook after a fine defensive effort. Hook off the chain. Man, that's it, baby. Good job. Targets the hook after blocking that shot. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. That's it. And round 
seven comes to an end. Teddy's scorecard has this a one-sided fight. Mayweather's putting two. Uh, things opened up and he was able to place the right hand well. Money's jab is now carrying this fight for him from the outside. Yeah, because the jab is carrying the fight. You know, it all starts with that jab. And right now, that jab is leading the way. That's oh, he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Putting his punches together, good combination by Money. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Beat him to the punch. Come on, Tim. Beat him to the punch, man. Let's move. 90 seconds to go. Halfway through round eight. Stay on the side. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the kid. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Circle, circle. <laughs> Unable to score with the hook. The kid's been able to let loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing on up of them. Well, he's thrown him from a little too far away. He's not getting into that punching chamber. He's starting to launch him just a little too soon, and his opponent is warned. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. What a difference from corner to corner. As he sits on his stool, he knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. How about a return to center with the left hand? Keep your hands up. Mayweather's hit by that counter. With the right hand. Come on. Keep doing what you do. Finish with the hook. Finish with the hook. Ninety seconds into the ninth round. Jump on him right now. Walks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Money's head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is. And his opponent right now is not making the adjustments. Matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more head hunting. And the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated he gets, the more tired he gets. He needs to make a change downstairs to the place that's not moving down to the body. Range, range. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. The kids dazed after that punch. Money's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three punch combo? Just as he did in that round we just watched. He's been doing everything the right way tonight. The judges have to appreciate that. Well, you would hope so. We appreciate it. And you would hope that those three judges, you would hope that they see it the right way. Nice work blocking that and then an uppercut of his own. Money's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. That's classic work with the double jab. Turns fire with a left hand. 
the kid's making me real curious here, Teddy. I wonder, should he be sticking with this style after being locked in this fight? It's still early enough. I would say yes. You know, you don't want to panic. You don't want to just throw everything overboard. You want to stay with what brought you here. Hey, he's been taught this not for hours, not for days, not for weeks. You know, months and years he's been taught this. You don't throw it out. You stay with it. Money's putting together punch stats tonight that fall right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter. And the jab tonight has... Look at that! It was in his scope, and he pulled the trigger with that straight shot, scoring the knockdown. And he had a beautiful sight there. but off target. The kid's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Oh, good job. Good job, champ. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Didn't get it done going to the body there towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. And round 10 comes to an end. That's what Mayweather's in position now to just have himself one of those special nights. One of those nights where from start to finish, it was all you. Here we are, round number 11, and in control on your scorecard. Yeah, he's on his way to the cashier's window. He just has to make sure he doesn't get mugged. You know, nobody jumps him. Keep your eyes open. That's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. Keep moving, keep moving. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. The kid's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. We want to see if those legs are stable, if they're firm. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Keep working, keep working. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. after catching one by the kid. Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. The kid's able to land a nice clean left hand. Oh, he just misses with that head shot. the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Comes right back at him with a left hand. The kid's now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel it. Because if you look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in the rainstorm with an umbrella and all of a sudden the wind's coming. And the rain's coming from the side. And you're standing there under the umbrella and say, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. Solid left. Good combination. Hook into the body with the left. And then going up top with the right. There's a 
straight right hand. He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no idea that he was still in range. He thought he was at a safe distance. Now he knows he wasn't. Kids impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the kid. We said it early on, stylistically with this matchup, hardly a chance that we would go to the judges' scorecards, but Teddy, that's exactly what's about to happen. Yeah, early on, you're right, it looked like it was going to be an explosion, but fizzled out a little bit. Here we are. Mayweather's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for, and it's exactly what the judges reward. Good, solid effort.